So where do you think we've got to, Fiona, in uh, this afternoon's conversation? What do you, what do you think are the really uh, important conclusions we should take away? Hmm. Well, I think it's important for students to not get too overwhelmed by trying to think about a research question. It, you need to read. You've got to know the literature in the area to even forge a decent research question. So that's a great place to start. Think of a general area of interest that sparks your interest and then go read about it and see what's been done recently, what's been done in the last 10 years, and what's, where has that research already evolved to. I mean, the people who are published give us great insight because they, look for, they, they write in their abstracts and in their papers about future recommendations. So they give us a leg up, don't they? So those are some great pieces to start with, to think, what are the future recommendations that these dozen people have said in the, in the papers that I've read this last week or so? Think about what you might, might be more practical, might be doable within the time you've got, what is interesting to you, and then perhaps pick out the top three and go chat to your supervisor. Yeah, that's right. Talk to your supervisor at an early stage. Yeah. And, you know, start in a good place. Mm -hmm. Yes. What about you? Anything else? Well, for, for me, the key point is that uh, planning is worthwhile in qualitative mm. projects. And I think sometimes people think that because they're not testing a hypothesis or because mm. they're not, you know, coming along with a, a designed experiment, then they can just be open-minded and go with the flow and <laughs> they don't need to plan anything. Now, I don't agree with that. I think mm. that planning really pays off, um, even when you want to be open-minded about what your participants are going to tell you. And it really is worth thinking through, why am I doing this mm -hmm. study? What, what's, what purpose am I trying to serve? What, yeah. what am I trying to add to what is known? How am I going to go about it? How is that going to work? And you know, practice a few things first. And I think mm -hmm. it, you, it's really worth the investment of a little bit of planning. Absolutely. Well, we'll leave them with that, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> Don't wait too long. <laughs> and uh, talk to your supervisor sooner than later so that you can get on a good footing for a great independent project. I really hope that you enjoy doing your qualitative study.